All right, here's a fun little problem called the difference quotient. And it's called that because you're, the difference is the answer to a subtraction problem and the quotient is the answer to a division problem. And this is both, you're subtracting in the numerator and you're dividing by H, so it's the difference quotient. All right, that's the easy part. The hard part is what does all this mean? And here's an example. I'm gonna give you a little review on what f of x means. f of x means whatever you put after f in this parenthesis, that's what goes in for x. So for example, let's say I said f of three. If I put a three in there, in the parenthesis, then I'm gonna put a three in for the this x. So I'm gonna have three x and x is now three. So three is three, uh, too many threes. Let's do f of four, so it's less confusing. Let's say it's f of four, I'm gonna put a four in for the x. So it'll be three times four plus five, which is 12 plus five, which is 17. So there you go. Whatever you put into this parenthesis after x, that goes in for x in your equation. And then you just do the math and you end up with 17. That's a simple, that's about as simple as it gets. What's more complicated is if you do f of x of h. So if you want to do f of x of h, not x of h, x plus h. So f of x plus h. It's still the same concept. If that was just a 4, we'd put a 4 in for x. But now it's all this, and we got to put all that in for x. So it becomes 3 times x plus h plus 5. So just like f of 4 on the last one became 3 times 4, now f of x plus h becomes 3 times x plus h. Now you do the math and you distribute the 3 and you get 3x plus 3h plus 5. So that is f of x of h for this example is that right there. So we can substitute that into the formula now. That's what this equals. So now in our formula, we're going to have f of x plus h, which we just figured out was 3x plus 3h plus 5 minus f of x, which is 3x plus 5. So that's what our numerator is going to become here. Now, here's a step that students mess up all the time. They start to combine like terms on the numerator, and they make the 5 and the 5 a 10. Because they're like, well, that's a positive 5, and so is that one. So that should be a 10. No, it's actually minus 1. You're actually, that's probably the wrong way to say it. Let me say it like this. You're actually distributing a negative 1 through that parenthesis. Whenever it's just minus a parenthesis, it's really a negative one. You gotta distribute that negative one through. So when you distribute the negative one through, you end up with three x plus three h plus five, that first part didn't change, then minus three x and minus five. So if you're not subtracting five there, you're gonna mess the whole thing up. All right, that's distributing the negative one through. Both these become negative. The 3x and the 5 are both positive. Now they're both negative. Now you can combine your like terms, and it'll be kind of nice because the, th the 3x and the 5s are going to cancel out. 3x minus 3x is 0. 5 minus and a negative 5 makes 0. All you're going to be left with is a 3h on the, in the numerator. And don't forget the denominator was a single h. So basically what we have here is 3h over h. And then the H's cancel out. So this really reduced down pretty far to just a regular old three. So that's the key right there. Whatever they put in the parentheses, all of it goes in for X. And then you just gotta get the algebra right here to get it down to three.